So, here we are with a brand new chapter on data sets. So, we are going to teach you the importance of crunching data sets and how to go about crunching them. So, firstly, what are data sets? Especially data sets that are relevant to social networks. You see, there was a time when we did not have any data and today we are in that era where it is all about data. We have so much of data that we do not know how to make sense out of this data. A complete contrast to what it was let us say some 30, 40 years back. For example, there was an instant, there was time when people looked at the friendship network on 30 to 35 nodes. This is called the Zacharias Karate network. It had some 32 nodes and some edges on it. It is very popularly uh, studied, it very widely studied and a very popular social network. But today, now back then we did, we probably did not have a way in which we could get a bigger network. But today with the advent of internet and um, uh, high end computing and storage facilities, we can crunch a whole lot of data. Whether we can crunch or not, we have a whole lot of data. So, this week, this um, entire module is all about understanding what are social networks data sets and how one can make sense out of these things. Please ensure that you have understood Python and Network X and, and other APIs on Python really well, especially the things that we taught the last week. I am sure you all know of this Play Doh. Play Doh is where you have this um, uh, uh, sand like thing that is sort of uh, uh, you can make any shape out of it and you realize that the options are multitude. You can go on making a, a small uh, box out of it or a cute animal out of it. I mean you, the limit is just in your imagination. So, similarly when people got hold of this big network data set, they realize that one can actually ask a whole lot of questions on it. Let us say first question that one can ask on our friendship network. There is this classroom full of 100 students and the data is available to me of their friendship network. Who is friends with whom? What kind of questions can we ask? The obvious question is the graph connected? We have discussed enough uh, on this topic before. Most probably all graphs are connected. Fine. Second question. What can you say about the degree of the nodes? By degree you mean pick a person, look at how many friends he has. Pick another person, look at how many friends he or she has. So on and so forth. Make a list of all these friendships of individual people. What is the average here? And what is the standard deviation of this list? What do I mean by this? By this I mean is the average sort of, do everyone agree with the average or is it very uh, widely uh, spread? Of what use is such that kind of research? Data sets gave us this uh, ability to question random stuff like this just like we would build random stuff with Play Doh and then played around with these data sets and arrived at fantastic conclusions. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to pick some random data sets for our discussion right now. I am going to go one by one, go through some 8 to 10 data sets and explain what are these data sets and what kind of questions can one ask and answer.